Hey guys, just another follow-up video from uh, last summer's project. And this one is about this gate right here that I made last summer. I made a, made a video about how to make the uh, metal fence, showed you how to do that. And then I wanted a gate. I was looking all over YouTube and I could see all kinds of gates that were the normal where the slats went up and down and then there was a Z pattern crossbar and I just didn't like it. I wanted to be able to see through a little bit and I didn't want to have any lines where I could see any wood or anything behind it. As you can see, you can see right through. So just thought I'd give you a show you what I did. I made this about eight or nine months ago and it's held up. That's why I didn't make the video sooner. I wanted to make sure it held. This gate is, let's measure it for you, is 48 inches um, wide by uh, 77 inches high. And uh, this is one by six pressure treated, nice and light. I figured that would uh, make the frame last longer. And uh, it's a two by frame, two by four, excuse me, uh, frame pressure treated as well. Let me show you the backside. Now, everybody told me not to do it this way, that without that Z pattern board going down, you know what I mean, right? The board, the Z that would go from corner to corner or an X, that it would sag. I've had this, like I said, eight or nine months, it has not sagged. So that's what I was waiting for. All I did was I used these brackets. These are eight inch, um, eight inch by eight inch brackets. Uh, tip, make sure your frame is laying flat on the ground before you put those brackets on, otherwise it'll get tweaked. And also when you're cutting your two bys, make sure they're dead square. Cause if they're not, when, when you put the screws in from the side, it'll tweak it and make your gate all up, you know, um, kind of, I don't know what the word is, but kinked. You know what I mean? It's not like laying dead flat. And then uh, one of the mistakes that I made um, is you can see here, I actually have four hinges. <laughs> I don't know. I was being cheap, I guess, is the answer. I tried doing it with two hinges. You can see my marks right there and right there. That did not work. I did two hinges and I also put these on the inside of the frame instead of on the back side of the frame, okay? Those actually just started to uh, bend and stretch open. So I went back and I did four instead, hooked this on the outside and then the other one on the inside. Let me show you that again, what it looks like on the inside. There's the inside of the hinge. So you can see what kind of hinges I use. You know what, I, I got them at the local hardware store. I'll look online and see if I can find a link to Amazon or something where you can find those hinges. Uh, to use the same exact ones. But this thing has not sagged. It's been hanging all this time. Uh, it's been through rain, snow, summer, um, and it is holding up really good. Um, you can't see any lines. And I made it with the idea of knowing that worst case scenario, I'd put one of those cable uh, turnbuckles down to hold it, which I have not needed and I'm so thankful. So you can see right through it. Hardware I used. Just one of these old things like this. I didn't use, uh, needed to do a block of wood so I can get this into the center of my two by, um, kind of space it out and then just notch the hole through. As you can see, screwed it right to the boards. As you can see, I put that right through the middle of the boards. It worked out perfectly. And then of course this one here, I actually notched out the wood to recess that plate in. So when I close it, I get the right uh, depth, as you can see, like that. So, uh, again, I'll see if I can find a link to that on Amazon or something so you can find that. But this thing, I absolutely love this gate. I love it that uh, if you're coming from the back side or the front side, it gives you a chance to see if there's somebody there or not. You're not in the blind since the rest of the fence is in the blind. And um, I don't know, we're really happy with the way it came out. A little different than what you'll find anywhere else on uh, YouTube because I was looking all over the place for ideas on how to build that. And, uh, I ended up with this and glad, glad we did it. So there you go. Hope it helps guys. Have a great day.